So, uh, so Chuck, we're talking about elders and deacons, but the the origin for the idea is the fact that you've been preaching through this series for uh, how long? Several weeks. <laughs> Several weeks, yeah, into the, a month or two maybe. Yeah, so we need more elders and deacons at Christ Church, and before we begin any kind of selection process, we wanted to spend some time talking about that, and it is actually a part of a, a larger series on the church ecclesiology. Um, but yeah, we're wrapping that up now in the hopes of the Lord leading us to more men. Yeah, yeah, and it's been a, it's been a fantastic series. There's so many things that that I've learned um, about both the office of elder, the office of deacon, but then also what all should be involved in thinking through who should fill those offices. And that's really kind of where we wanted to focus um, focus on this this episode in this podcast. So. You start with you know one of the very first things after so like you said this came in the in the context of a series on the church we looked at different portraits of the church uh, that are found throughout Old Testament and New Testament and I really like the the image that you gave it's almost like an art gallery and you can go and look at these images uh, or these depictions uh, or descriptions of the church that God gives us in His Word and we can take a long time and look at each one but when it comes to um, the the offices of elder when it comes to the office of deacon why are we spending so long as a church going through this series and then why are we taking a full podcast maybe two to discuss this yeah well before i answer that question let me back up real quick and say uh that that view of of uh those portraits as as an art gallery i think I actually heard jeremy walker use that and so um, that's where I, I think I got that illustration. But we, we went through that longer series leading up to that. We, we're looking at the church and how God esteems the church, how he values the church to raise our estimate of the church. And then that should lead to a, a greater uh, desire to make sure that we have qualified men to serve. If, if the church is just, you know, like the PTA or some other organization, then then our view of the people who lead that is going to be vastly different than if we see it as something that's precious to God, redeemed by the blood of Christ, and you know the apple of His eye. If that's what the church is, well, that's different. And the leaders who lead that then need to be a different sort of people than those who run just you know some organization down the road. Mm-hmm. 